Looking forward to getting back out here tomorrow against a, uh, a very, very good uh, Marquette team. Um, they're obviously up towards the top of the uh, the Big East standings right now. I think they're six and one in the league, second place in our league. Great opportunity here here to have a home game against a really good team. And um, our guys been working really hard. I think over the last day, whether it's through film and and through practice, to try to uh, to correct a few things that that we saw from uh, the Providence game. And uh, looking forward to, uh, like I said, the opportunity to uh, to play Marquette. Coach, at the end of the Providence game, Najee went down and you held him out of practice yesterday. Can you update us with what he, what's going on with him and do you expect him to practice today? Um, he, he did not practice yesterday, you're right. Um, he, uh, I don't think he's going to compete today in practice. Um, we're going to kind of see how it is. Um, it's kind of a little bit day-to-day, hour-to-hour here. Hopefully he'll be able to play. I, think, I know he wants to play. Um, obviously, we want to make sure that he's healthy and that'll probably be a little bit more of a, a game-time decision with his shoulder. You played Marquette just five games ago. How do you think your team has changed during that short time? Um, you know, I think uh, I think I, th I think we've gotten better. I do. I really do. Um, you know, we, we um, think we're, we're finding our identity a little bit more, Shannon. Uh, who our who our team is. Um, I think we're playing hard. I think we've been about toughness. I think we've been pretty good on the glass. I know we lost a rebounding war against Villanova, um, but I think you know for the most part we're, we're, we've become a really good rebounding team. Um, I think we're we're ahead of where we were last time when we played them. Um, now again, you know you look at Marquette and you know they've obviously gotten better as well. You know it's it's a, it's a long season, um, and they're going to present a lot of challenges. You know I mean they they have. Uh, they have a first-team All-American, in my opinion, Marcus Howard. I mean, he's a tremendous player. He can go for 50 on any given night, and and you know you got to make him earn his points. And then they have the Hauser brothers, who are tremendous. You know, Theo John gives them a, a defensive presence around the rim, and offensive presence around the rim, just finishing. Um, it's going to be a big, big challenge for us and a big opportunity for us to get a really, really quality win here at home. Turnovers was the name of the game last game, and you said you were really disappointed with that. Has anything changed at practice, or, or how do you have confidence the team is going to be better in that regard tomorrow? Oh, we have to be better. I think that's where it starts. I mean, it, you know, again, I thought a lot of those turnovers were self-inflicted, careless turnovers, uh, whether it's passing, dribbling, um, decision making. You know, we obviously showed film to our guys, whether it was individually and as a team, because um, I want those guys to know why we lost. And I think that's always really important because sometimes I don't think guys always fully understand. You know, they just see the score. And, you know, a lot of coaches say, hey, did, they, did you play hard? I thought we competed. I really did. Um, I just think it was more of a uh, – more just our turnovers. And, you know, I think they had 17 points off of our turnovers. And, and that's that's the uh, the story of the game. But that, it's got to be cleaned up. I mean, and, and you know, whether it's the one-hand passes, the one-handed catches, because we had, almost had more than 18 turnovers. We should have had more. Um, we were lucky, very, very fortunate to have a couple, you know, a couple balls kind of bounce our way. Otherwise, it would have been 20 or 21 turnovers. So, again, I think just when we make a point, of, you get what you emphasize. And we've been emphasizing that nonstop, every four-minute war that we have. Um, and that, that's got to be cleaned up. And that's, you know, we've been doing a really good job as of recent up until last game in that area. And it's got to change for us to have a chance to win. As someone who's around the team every day, can you describe what it would mean to the group to win this game and kind of have that game that you can kind of circle and underline and star as your biggest win of the year? Yeah, Joe, I think it would be big. I mean, obviously when you have a, a top-ranked team like Marquette coming into your place, um, they've already beaten us once as well. Um, our guys have a lot of respect for Marquette, uh, for their players, uh, for their program. We know how good they are. Um, but we also know, man, every Big East game is close. I mean, they just barely beat Providence at home right before Providence played us. And that game could have went either way um, to the last couple minutes of the game. And, you know, so we have to take care of our business and focus on what we control with the turnovers, rebounding, our defensive effort, making them earn their points and, and put ourselves in a really good position. But it would, be, it would be really big for us. There's no question about that. As someone who's around the team, I'll kind of to follow up on that, and I know styles will change with every coach, but do you kind of feel like you have to push this team, kick them in the butt, put an arm around them? How are you kind of approaching this team right now as far as what you're doing with them mentally? What do you think can really help this team kind of get over that hump? Yeah, I think it's different. You know, like, uh, again, like I thought, like we obviously lost at Villanova. Um, I loved their effort. 
um, at Villanova. Uh, I loved our fight that we had at Villanova. I thought we took care of the ball. I thought we focused for the most part, even though we got beat on the glass, I thought for the most part we, we, we were pretty good in the areas that we could control. And I thought, you know, so I put my arm around him a little bit more after, after the Villanova game. And then, you know, the Providence game, I thought a lot of the reason we lost was more self-inflicted and give, give Providence all the credit in the world, not taking anything away from them. They won the game. Um, but I thought they were a lot more self-inflicted errors that we could control. And, you know, the 18 turnovers, um, it's unacceptable. We can't do that. I mean, that's just mental lapses, um, being casual, um, discipline. And that, that can't happen. So then you got to kick them in the butt a little bit, or, and a, a lot, a lot of bit, right? And uh, so, again, it's just different at times of the year, kind of where you're at and, you know, kind of how you're performing. Again, yeah, we, wanna, we play to win every single game, you know. But, again, for me, it's more about, you know, our quality of play. Are we up to our standards um, and the things that we can control? So it kind of just, term, you know, depends upon, you know, how we played in that specific game or that specific practice. And Travis, uh, when you are playing your best in those four-minute wars, what are you seeing that you need to channel into 40 minutes against Marquette? You know, I, I think, again, like it's the, it's the little things. You know, it's like it's catching the ball with two hands. It's passing with two hands. It's, you know, not just hitting singles. You don't have to hit a home run every time you have the ball. And don't try to make a play every time you have the ball. Sometimes the right play is to move the ball get the ball you know, moved side to side, and then you can attack. Um, I think that as far as taking care of the ball, I think that's a big thing. You know? But when we're, when we're playing at our best, we're playing inside out. Uh, we're playing physical. Um, we're being nasty, being tough on the glass, around the rim on defensive end as well, being physical around the rim on, on that end as well. Um, that's when we're playing at our best. Marquette, it, it may come easier for them to hit those home runs. Just because they're experienced and they have a player who can score yep. 40, 50 points in a game, how do you limit them from hitting a home run, especially in the early goings tomorrow? Yeah, you know, we talked about our guys a lot like when we were going into Villanova as well. You know, I think Villanova is another team that is uh, that can go on big runs. You know, they can go on those 9-0, 12-0 runs a lot like Marquette. You know, like Hauser can hit a three, then all of a sudden Marcus Howard hits two threes in a minute span, and it's a 9-0 run. You know, it's, I told our guys, you know, don't panic. You know, it's okay. They, they, they do that. It's normal. And, and it's about next possession. It's about making them earn their points. Is it a contested shot or is it an uncontested shot? You know, that, that, that's the big thing. That's, that's where I'm going to be, like, evaluating us tomorrow during the game. Is Marcus Howard getting an easy look or is he getting a tough look? And, again, he's going to make some tough ones. It's what he does. It's why he's such a good player. Uh, it's why the Hauser, both the brothers, <laughs> they're both phenomenal shot makers. But are we making them earn their baskets? The, the game at Marquette was the last time that we saw kind of the, the previous lineup. Um, now you've gone to the two bigs. How do you think that, that your different look will kind of translate to playing against Marquette this time? Because obviously, you know, that's something that they have to prepare for now. Yeah, you know, obviously we're a much different team when we have two bigs on the floor, both defensively and offensively. Um, you know, it's a, uh, I think we could try to bully them around the rim. Obviously, we're going to try when we have our two big guys in there. But at the same time, we have to be able to match up with them at the other end. And, you know, Tyreek and Zach got to be able to show that they can guard some of their guys on the perimeter, you know, whether it's Joey Hauser, Sam Hauser, who are big challengers, two of their better players. And, you know, because there's going to be an advantage. Both teams are going to have an advantage on each end. And it's, it's who can take advantage of your advantage, right? And uh, that's going to be big for us. And obviously on the glass, you know, I, I think uh, – Hopefully that's that's that's, that's got to be a big part of our identity. Continue, you know, moving forward. Um, we have to be able to win the rebounding war every single game, and we have to do that against Marquette. If we're going to play big, that sometimes our best offense may be just throwing the ball up there on the rim and going to get it. 